right, uh, here we are, we're back out again, <coughs> once again at Riverside, but uh, for a reason this time, I've been invited into a competition, uh, there's about 38 guys who came, come from all over the country to do with transport, uh, all the anglers, they come up here two or three times a year having a competition, I was invited last time, but uh, due to be born, I was working so I couldn't make it. But I'm here this time. Uh, so we're, we're fishing here. It's uh, one rod, three hook. Three hook maximum. I'm fishing 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock. Uh, so let's see what we can get. We should, we should be getting flounders. We'll maybe get sea trout, maybe get plaice, maybe get dab. Uh, and a lot of other small things and small coddling as well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... My bait for today, we've got uh, mackerel, we've got bluey, black lug. I've seen a guy catching quite a few fish with them a couple of days ago, so... And we've got peeler crab. Well, we'll see what they're like anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a... I think there's a total of about 38 people in this competition and it's not marked out, it's just fish where you like sort of thing, so random competition. They're all the way... They're all the way up the wall. I think that's time to start. Time to start, I'm not even bait it up yet. I'm, I'm good start, is it? Well, I'll get baited up and we'll get in the water. See what we can do. Right, so that's us baited up, we'll get in the water. Everybody else is in the water. Last in, first out, I hope. So that's us in the water, <laughs> living, in hope, living in hope of catching a fish. So we'll get down, sit down, have a coffee and watch the bites come. We hope. Just started, I think there's somebody maybe on the radio. Fish over there. They were no loot. Good lad, <laughs> First job, Michael. Look, there's one, we've got a fish. No. Oh, well, crap. Oh, I'll be 
niet wat zo krap. Here we go. My first fish, nice little dab. Good start. I don't catch that. Guy, I think there's a wee cuddling he's got there. It's a wee tiddly one. Yeah. There's 50 points for that one. Uh, what the fuck was that one? Salmon. Go something small anyway. There you go. Another little, I would say a cod one I think. At least there's fish. More than that I'm catching it. And guys are spread out all, all the way up there. Camera's sticking. Got a flat fish there. <coughs> well, if you can keep it this thing. He's a flounder and a wee cod one, I think. There's a guy who caught a cold fish earlier on. I've never seen anybody so excited in all my days. Because he caught a cold fish. And do a flounder, which looks like half, half decent size compared to what's been coming up so far. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's a decent sized flounder. Yeah, yeah. Not often you get them around here. Uh -huh. Caught by this man. <laughs> Another one. Caught in the weed. Seem to be getting the fish, but they seem to be dragging them into the weed. Oh, 
Ja, nu skal vi slå hende der til. Usually it's got something. Don't know if it's fishy or just weed. Oh, fishy, flying up. Steve! Oh, it's actually a dab. Ah, hello. Another flatfish. Mm, it shouldn't be coming in just now. Except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Got another wee fish there. Wee cuddling. And I mean wee. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jesus. <coughs> well, that's not long after, uh, after half tide, and uh, been quite a few fish caught. Small, small side light, uh, mainly flounders and dab, and uh, a few wee cool fish, and crabs. There's a few crabs as well. But uh, apart from that, nothing big. I'm not doing so well myself either. <laughs> Always in competitions, I never seem to do well down here. Yeah, I can go down a day later and catch fish with livery and centre, I don't know. But, uh, but we'll keep at it and hopefully catch a few. At least I've got a couple, couple marked in a wee codling and a, a dab. So, at least I'm not right at the bottom. So we'll keep it up and see what we can come up with. There's a young lad got a fish. <laughs> That's a, looks like a wee flat fish to be flounder. Oh, well. <laughs> they just went back. <laughs> His best crash crabs for today. He's caught more crabs than anybody else. If there was a competition for crabs, he'd be in the lead, I tell you. <laughs> I can't see that one. Guy just got a fish. <laughs> Out in the water there, you can see Dundee's on ice flow. If I can find it. It's not ice, it's uh, just foam. Big piles of bubbles of foam. <coughs> Look like ice from a distance. So. Nice stuff. Might be watching my rod, but there's nothing happening on it, so. Might as well watch the ice. <laughs> watch the bubbles. <coughs> Another fish coming up there. There we go. Another flatty. Nice flatty.
There you go, another little dab. Yeah. Sorry? There we go. Few people in a rowing boat. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Give them a bit of fishing line now. Look, see if they can catch something out there from out there. <laughs> Looks like another wheat cord in There we go. Another nice little codlin. <laughs> well, that's us. Uh, that's that's the end of the competition. And there's been quite a quite a few fish caught. Uh, just pity they were on the small side there. Uh, but uh, most baits have caught some things. You know, so that can't be bad. Personally, I've caught two dabs and two two codling wee things. But that's the way it goes. It's been good, been good uh, meeting all the guys and whatnot, getting a chat and everything. So yeah, and oh, hi <laughs> to the lady, uh, the lady and gentleman that came. Uh, came and spoke to me earlier. They were all the way from Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, they're on holiday over here. And they just happened to bump into me. <laughs> Apparently uh, they like watching my videos, so... Hello! <laughs> uh, so, as I said, that's us. We'll get the... Uh, getting packed up, get in the car. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> <laughs> we get packed up and get away home and get some coffee. Get back out later on somewhere. You get this there. Uh, first of all, there's a couple of people I'd like to thank for the venue that we've held today. One of them is my old time adversary and his son, Mr. George, and Mr. Junior George McLeather. With, with also the information from Michael. And although I think we should make it a rule in our competitions that anywhere that we go, within a month of us going there, you're not allowed to come and practice <laughs> on two or three occasions, just because it's down the road. But on joking aside, uh, I think it's been a good turnout, I think it's been a good venue. And my first question is, why have we, you never invited us up here before? Said that way. He, he did not right. say that way. Yeah. He did. You were right. So, so as I say, I mean, I know the Plymouth lads said they'd come up here again, which is good. Fantastic. Which is good. And obviously, I thank the Plymouth lads for coming. Yeah. And also, I like to thank. I'd also like to thank the Glasgow lads and the Dunedin lads because they'd follow us to the end of the year no matter where we go in the future. Because that's what we're all about. We are a family. So, as I say, 
I'd like to thank you all for attending. I think we've had a good day. Nobody's blank. It hasn't been fantastic, but it's kept us going. The weather's been canny. And I think it's been spot on. And everything, the accommodation, people behind the bar, this is a presentation. So, as I said, and even it. You get up with Bain, the last oh yes, absolutely. We kept her up from twelve o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't know whether or not you know, but um, Michael was the last one with his entries. But I give him grace because he brought eleven anglers, which is good. But on paper, we had like forty anglers. It, it dwindled down to thirty-seven a day, and I think that's an exceptional turnout for where we're at. So, and also. Michael asked me if a gentleman called Michael Bird would fish with us today as a rider. I don't know whether or not you know, but Michael Bird, he fishes the place regular, he does a video link and all that, I'm not into that. Um, so we welcomed him today. So I think I'd like that Michael as a thank you to present the prize with Michael Bird. So I'm going Can you play it now, Steve? I'm with that. I'm going to use my Right, good evening boys and girls. Hello. You can't say ladies and gentlemen now. Why not? You can't say people because it's getting banned. Yeah, you can't say lords, ladies and gentlemen now. Yeah, they're not. The, you know. Before I start, I'd just like to wish certain people, we know we're all getting old, okay? It's been two of our anglers' birthdays. One's had it, one's coming up. And Mr. Whitwell was 70 on the third, and he's grabbed his seven And the other one is 58 tomorrow, and that's Neil over there. of anybody who wants to buy him a drink. <laughs> okay? Right. Oh, yeah, the most yeah, important. The most important. And you shall have the coffee because we're not on that bloody machine back on. Right. Results whoa, today. Whoa, no, number of anglers fishing. 37. Number of undertakings. 6. Number of fish caught a day. 297. Number of fish brought back to the scales. None. And the number of teams in the wild card is nine. Start off with the riders. The rider today with the most points of 22 fish with 275 points is Mr. Rumble. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Your yeah, angler today, which also, again, is right. Sorry, I was snoring while you were talking Sorry. there. The angler with the most fish today, and that's again a rider of 20 fish, and that was Mr. A. Birch. Right, your heaviest single fish for a rider today was a 10 ounce dab, and that was Mr. C. Dobson. Oh, <laughs> 
And the next one is a rider with the most species and he's kept the golden secret from us all. For the last few years he's fished as a rider. He's forgotten notifiers and is now in receipt of a pension. And with five species, Mr. Heron, and he could be fishing as a proper member. <laughs> right, we now move on to the angle with the heaviest single fish runner up, and that's AF coil with a one pound two ounce. Trout, sea trout. Michael will get pick it up for him. You shouldn't have got these. What's the sweet one? And your heaviest single fish weighed in today was by Mr. J. Farry and it was a one pound nine ounce flounder. You go for that one. And along with it, for the heaviest single fish, he gets a nice envelope with 40 pounds. Rock salmon. Right. We move off the riders, we moved off the riders, now we're going on to the angler with the most species today, and that was five species, and that was Mr. Broadbent. Right, your wildcard team, your wildcard winners, with a total of one, oh, no, I can't read Steve's writing, 650 points, that is Mr. S. Louth, Mr. S. Faith, Mr. P. McKenzie, and Mr. G. Birch. Wildcard winners. Mackenzie's one of yours, isn't yeah. it? Right. Okay. It's just that he's going to get a tenner. Right. Feel a little bit. Who's missing? Mackenzie, he's travelled back to the Right, your zone one winner, your zone one winners today was Doncaster A team. <laughs> Come on, boys. 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 Come
Your most fish today, oh sorry, your zone two winners, I forgot about them. Your zone two winner today was Sunderland 18.
Are we taking home or? We tried it. 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 We
Right, you Trevor Skeen, that was the angler with the most species overall. And that was 11 species, and that goes, the Trevor Skeen trophy goes to Mr. S. Faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, you, Dougie Lee, that's the best angler who's achieved the least number of points over the year, finishing second on the boards, on the individual, finishing third on the team board and finishing fourth on the beach today. It's nice to see a young person with another, that's Mr. Chris Sims. Yeah. after the presentation's finished. So, I do apologise if we're going to be taking the trophy off somebody to give to somebody else. And I do apologise. Oh, but we have to go to the paperwork. There's one more to do, and that's the chairman does a pairs competition, and he marries two people up. And the best overall pair this year are Mr. G. McRitha Jr. paired with Mr. Faith. Yeah. All I can say now, boys and girls, um, I know John has the chairman's trophy to present, but on behalf of myself, the committee, Steve and everybody else, I'd just like to say thanks for the support you've given us this year and over the past years. Hope to see you all again next year with the miserable morning faces. You know, as always. I'm not taking anybody else in. You know, and you've got the happy tables up here. You know, and as it comes sweeps down, you get less, less happier. And on that, on a better note, wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.
the chairman's trophy goes to an angler who has been fishing as a rider who should have been fishing in a team. And that's Mr. John Aaron. <laughs> have had the trophy because he got the most points and the sweet money for his 350 points he's accumulated. So therefore, Mr Faith, I've had it on good authority that you've been a generous man. Mr Bassett, Ooh. Billy, also had 25 fish, but less points. <laughs> Will share the sweet money with him. 